Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I've got a two for, two for, for you tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing two cards for the price of one. So one video, two cards. And these are the two cards I'm gonna be making using the new Peaceful Place Suite that's in the new holiday mini catalog. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Let me get my computer going, make sure I'm going live. And let's see, it looks like I am. Yay. Oh, and I'm really crooked tonight. Hold on. Let's see if I can fix that. Hopefully it is better. A mm, little bit wonky still. All right. I don't know why I'm always crooked. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hey, Sharon. Thank you. It was absolutely a gorgeous day here today in Chesapeake, Virginia. It was one of those top 10 days where it was just perfect, perfect weather. It was like 80 degrees, a nice breeze blowing, low humidity. It was just a day you really wanted to be outside doing stuff. So after I made these cards this morning, that's what I did. I went outside and um, enjoyed the sunshine. I got a little bit of sun, and um, it was just a perfect day. One of those top 10 days. I just really enjoyed it. So I made these cards this morning, and I wanted to show you how I did them. I used the new Peaceful Place Suite, which is on page 36, 37, 38 in the Holiday Mini. So this is the suite, and you get all of this in the suite. So you get the stamp set, the dies, the velvet sheets, the embossing folder, some sequins, some ribbon, and the gorgeous, gorgeous, this is like the prettiest paper ever. It's so beautiful. And here's a bigger picture of the stamp set, which is absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorites that I showed um, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. But we're going to be using that one. And I want to show you so that's this set and it is um rubber it's a rubber stamp set but isn't that just beautiful and it's one of those distinctive ones that has like the real pretty 3d kind of look to it it's just absolutely gorgeous and i love it and we're using the dies that go with it and the the die that i'm using is this one which cuts out the house and kind of makes a little um snowy scene here so you can make it long if you want to or short. I made it short and that's what it looks like. And I did that ahead of time. So I don't have to bring my um, embossing folder in. I mean my um, cut and emboss machine in here. So we'll be doing that in a second. But you get all of these dies which are like amazing. So you get one for the house plus the one that I just showed you plus all the trees, the little fence. Um, the little fox, some snowflakes, just all sorts of goodies. So it's a really great bundle. Even if you don't get the whole suite, the paper is like amazing in the stamp set. If you just get the stamp set, the dies in the paper, that's like perfect. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Melinda. Um, also, I've got a couple winners from the last few videos. Um, this one, the winner is Jesse Williams. So Jesse, you won this one. So make sure you send me your address and I will send this card to you. And Cindy Schrock, you won this one with that brand new set that I can't remember the name of right now, but you won that one. So make sure you send me your address and let me show you this paper. So let me get it out. It is 12 by 12 and I already used this piece right here and I'm, I've got another one, so I'll show you. And I've been cutting a lot of it up. So this piece right here is just beautiful. It's like gingham and has the snowflakes on the back. This one, I made the prettiest card. My upline Faith made this beautiful card, so I was copying it. And you can just cut out all these in little sections and use them to make a card. And then it's got this, um, this is the specialty paper and it's got the embossed like silver on it. And it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just so pretty and sparkly. This is the piece I used for today. So what I did, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it in a second and on the back of that is, is just some white stuff and then we've got this one which you can make like four six by six pages or you could cut it and make a card and then it's got trees on the back this one is just the snowflakes with the gingham that I already showed you this one is embossed with the gold 
and it's like um what do you call that like a tree trunk um looking thing i don't know what that's called and some trees on the back i'd probably use that page because it's i like that one better and then we've got the sparkly one i just showed you a second ago with the houses on the back and then we've got this piece also which would be a good one to cut this way right in half and then make like six cards out of it and then on, that's the gold side i mean the silver side and then on the back is just kind of a gray so it's all like gray and silver and black and white and it's absolutely beautiful but let me show you how i cut this paper right here so i've got my paper cutter so we've got the trees on the bottom and then this part on the top so what i did was i wanted to make cards with this part and this part separately so i cut this first at um five and a quarter so we go and i always do my paper cutter upside down let me see if you guys can see it i'll have to move it up hopefully you can see the bottom of that let me look at the computer real quick so i've got it at five and a quarter right here there's five and five and a quarter and we're just going to cut that there and then I cut each of these into four inches. So we're going to four inches. Oops. So do four inches, four inches, and four inches. So you get three of these right here. Then you have this other piece that's left over. So what I did was I cut this at five and a quarter also. And I cut that little top of the tree off. So we've got... A little piece left over here and then I'm going to cut this into three pieces of four inches each so we're going to go to four and cut it and then four so each piece of this you get two in a pack so you can get three of these pieces and three of these pieces from the top and the bottom so those are the two pieces that I used for the card today so six total of each one in a pack and they're oops they're so beautiful I just love them so we're gonna start with the easy card first so that's this one this is like a five second card and I, really you just don't even need to do anything with this paper because it's so beautiful so what you need is a scrap of smoky slate and a scrap of white and then you need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half smoky slate and four by five and a quarter of the designer paper that I just cut out. Okay. And that's it. So pretty easy. Only got to cut a couple pieces. Um, let's see. We're going to take all these off. And we don't have to stamp on this at all. I'm just going to glue these together. The only thing we're stamping for this card is the words. So I'm using my punch, and I forgot the name of this. What is it? Elegant Tag Punch. I'm glad I wrote that on the back. You're just going to punch out one of those. And you're also going to punch out one in the smoky slate. And we're going to make a little background from that. So on the white one, we're going to be stamping the words in Smoky Slate. And I just picked one that fit perfectly from this stamp set into this punch. I probably should have stamped first, but that's okay. All right, we're going to just put this right in here, and hopefully I can get it straight without getting my head in the camera. And boom. Yay, it came out pretty straight. I probably could have done a little bit better, but that's okay. It's hard to do it when you're when you don't have it right over top of you so I probably should have stamped it first but that's all right all right then what we're gonna do is cut this one in half and this you can do for almost any punch you can cut it in half either direction this one works better this way hamburger way so what you're gonna do is put some tape on the back and then just kind of pull it out a little bit so it gives you the illusion that you have a bigger stamp behind it. And then put this right here behind that one. And just make sure the sides line up straight. So now you have that, which looks like you had a bigger stamp. So we're just going to glue this down with my green glue. 
it was just absolutely so beautiful today. I couldn't believe it. I was like dying to go outside, but I had to get something done for tonight's video first. So I was working on that and we're going to put this on with dimensionals. And when I went outside, I was like, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. And I had my um, rednecky uh, swimming pool going, which is actually um, the hose. And you take the hose, and when you get hot, you just hold it straight up in the air over top of you, and it just kind of rains on you and cools you off for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then you do it again. And, <laughs> and that's just like having a swimming pool. <laughs> Since I don't have a swimming pool anymore, I've had a swimming pool my entire life until last year. So I had to um, come up with a new idea. So we're just going to kind of put this between the trees over here, wherever your paper is cut. Like on this one, the opening was kind of between these two, so I put it to the left. On this one, I'm going to put it a little bit to the right. And then I've got to do a little bow. So we've got our um, crinkled seam binding ribbon, the white cream crinkled seam binding. And we're going to tie a little bow with that. If I can get my fingers going right. There we go. And just maneuver it till you get it the size you want it. And I love this ribbon. This is one of my favorite ribbons. I like to stamp on this too. You can just take a stamp and stamp right on it and color it. And mess with it. I kind of got it twisted a little bit. All right. Come on, ribbon. All right. So there we go. And then we're going to trim it a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. And then we're just going to use a glue dot to put that on. And I'm just going to touch it right to the glue dot and stick it right on the top. So there you go. So that is like a five minute card. You could whip these out in no time flat. So there you go. Two easy cards. So that took like five minutes. So you could whip out a bunch of those if you pre-cut it. Then we're going to do the other one. So the other one has a little bit more work, but not too bad. Hey, Kathy. All right, so this one, we've got to stamp the cabin first, and I've already pre-done one for you, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So these are the pieces you need. So we've got white, five and a half by eight and a half, smoky slate, five by, I mean, four by five and a quarter, some white, two and a quarter by three and three quarters, and um, a piece of the designer paper, five by three and three quarters of the peaceful place that I just showed you. So that's all you need. Take a screenshot of that. The stamp set is called Beauty of Tomorrow. It is. Which one? This one, the peaceful cabin? Which one are you talking about, Michelle? Beauty of Tomorrow. I don't know what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about this. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, I think that one is Beauty of Tomorrow. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, so after you take a screenshot of this, we're going to take these off. And we only have to stamp on these two pieces. So I'm just going to set these aside for a minute. So we're going to start with the um, cabin. And what I did was I messed around with different colors. So I started with the smoky slate. It was a little bit too light. Then I tried basic gray. That was too dark. I tried black. That was too dark. So I ended up using early espresso, which is brown, but it came out really pretty. And I thought it kind of went really well with the gray. So we're just going to stamp that in early espresso. And if you look at the um, die, and I've got a little piece of washi tape on here. Let me move that over a second. So if you look at the die, it cuts it. Since I have a small piece, I want it to go like here. So I have to stamp mine close to the edge on this side because um, I really don't need all that whole big piece right there. So when I stamp it, I'm just going to do it right to the edge over here. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there's that. See, it kind of looks gray. It really does. It doesn't look like espresso. So let me get my scrap paper and kind of stamp that off. That is just a beautiful stamp, isn't it? 
all right so then you get your die cut and you line it up so it lines up with the chimney and the roof and you just put it on here line it up and stick it down oops stick it down and then when you run it through your die cutting machine then it comes out like this so it's got the snow down in front so this one i already cut out and it actually cuts out the little um, windows and stuff but open areas for you so what i did was i then i took the trees and i stamped the trees in the dark um what color did i use basic gray so we're going to do that oops and i'm going to get some scrap paper out because i don't want to mess up my pretty paper here all right so we've got this and you can do it either way you want to i don't know if it really matters which way maybe i'll do it this way no because i want the trees to show up so i'm going to do it this way all right so i'm going to ink it up upside down and when i pulled this pad out it's been so long since i used basic gray it was completely dry like it actually had zero ink on it i touched it and it was just totally dry so i actually had to like soak it for a little while so now it's really really juicy all right so we're going to put some trees about a little bit above halfway across and then i'm going to lift it up and do another set right here and let me ink it up again and kind of stamp off and then do it right there because I want to have some in the background there all right so that's basic gray you could use black too if you want it to and then I've got a little fox whoops <laughs> and I, oh I forgot I needed that back for the words because I put the words down here at the bottom so let's get that back a second and we're going to do the words down at the very bottom and I liked these words because they were long and they went along the bottom of the paper there's a bunch of other words in the stamp set but I thought this looked really pretty so this says your kindness makes the world a more beautiful place to be so we've got that now we're done with that color and I've got the smoky slate for the little fox so we have this cute little fox right here and you have to be very gentle with him because I pressed it too hard when I did the first one and we're just going to put him right here so we've got a little fox and there is a die cut for that little fox too all right so then we're going to put this down here like right about there you can put it on with dimensionals I decided to go flat um I don't know why I was just afraid it might kind of pop up or something but I just went ahead and did it flat and then um, go ahead and glue this down with the green glue and then just put it wherever you want I wanted the trees in the background so we're gonna put it like right here and that just looks so beautiful I just love it love it love it I gotta say my oh my fingers are dirty <laughs> I was pulling weeds while I was outside too, but I took a shower. But they evidently got still stuff on them. Okay, so then we're going to cut this because I accidentally cut it a sliver too big. So now we've got that. And then we're going to glue this together. And then we got to put some Wink of Stella because the snow looks amazing with the Wink of Stella on it. And don't forget, it's celebration time. If you want to order this or anything else, you get um, a free celebration item from the celebration catalog. Man, I really got to work on my nails. Um, I polish them with some clear polish, and then I go out and pull weeds, and now they're just kind of a mess. All right, so um, free celebration item for every $50 you order. There are a couple things that are with a $100 order, but if you place your order online, you get the free celebration item, plus I'll send you some goodies. So just go right here to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. There's the host code. And you just hook yourself up with everything you want. And I would love to have you as a customer. And that's how I get to do all these videos every day, by you guys ordering and, and watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. All right, so now we're going to put some Wink of Stella on the snow. So I'm going to do the roof first. Oh, this one's not coming out very good. Hold on. Let me get some scrap paper and get it going. 
I need to squeeze out some more. Oh, now I squeezed a bunch. Oh, now it's really juicy. All right, so put some glitter on the roof and the chimney. We'll just do the whole roof. And then all around here, and we're gonna make that snow really, really shimmery. Look at how pretty that is. Can you guys see that glitter? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wish we had dazzling diamonds still. That was like one of my favorite things. I love, I love glitter and shimmer and sparkles. And, oh, just love it, love it, love it. Let's put a little bit down here. All right, so then when you look at it, it's all sparkly. I love it. Oh, Donna, you like it, huh? I know. This was one of the, the first things I had to order. I just loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. And it's really super easy. I mean, it's just such a beautiful stamp. And the paper is absolutely gorgeous. So you can't go wrong with the paper. Even if you don't get the stamp set, you have to get the paper. So that is it. So that didn't take very long at all. How long have we been on here? 20 minutes? So two cards in 20 minutes. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So we've got all of these. And I hope you love them. If you love them, give me some hearts and thumbs up. And Michelle said, don't forget the sales tax holiday this weekend in Virginia. So if you want to get any adhesive or markers or stampin' blends or anything like that, those are going to be uh, tax-free this weekend in Virginia. I don't know about other states, but in Virginia. Thanks for reminding me. And glue dots also. And it starts tomorrow through the 8th. Hey, Melinda. Love it, love it, love it. Are you guys singing love it? Love it! Love it, love it. I do. But I'm, I'm biased against my own stuff. I think everything I make is beautiful. <laughs> but I hope you do too. And hope... Hopefully you love this video and um, make sure you leave a comment here or on, if you're on YouTube, make sure you leave a comment and you can win one of these two cards. And if you place an order, you will get free goodies from me plus your free celebration item. So please um, check out my website right here, stampingwithlisa.com and all the information will be there. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I hope you guys have a great day rest of your week and I will be back on Saturday with another video. See you later. Bye-bye.